Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Geo here. It's been a minute since I've done a haul video back in May, and it's been quite a crazy ride when it comes to that. I have a bunch of books, but not a whole lot. It was supposed to be considerably larger than what I'm gonna show you. Unfortunately, summertime rendering got in the way and screwed everything up. So I was really excited to get Summertime Rendering. I love the anime and I really wanted to check out the manga. Pre-ordered that back in May. It got pushed back to, I think Bright Stuff had a date of mid-June and I told myself, okay, well, I'll group everything together so it ships with those hardcovers. Of course, they had some printing issues and the hardcovers uh, were uh, not suitable to be out in the market. So uh, we have to wait. We didn't have a date, and I believe by San Diego Comic-Con they talked about a, a fall release. Unfortunately, the order I placed, it's all bundled up together, so I don't know if they're going to separate it or not. I guess I could email them or give them a call to see if they would separate the order, but end of the day, it's not too big of an issue. However, I guess for the purpose of this haul video, it kind of is, so what are you going to do? First world problems. I am missing two boxes of Bonga that I wanted to show you guys. I just have the one thing. It's actually kind of funny. At the start of June, I got one book, and I've been waiting ever since. And now at the end of July, here in August now, I finally got one of the other boxes. I got volumes 7, 8, and 9 of inspector i really like the series i loved the show and i wanted to collect it at some point now the starting volume some are out of stock others are not and i didn't want to go through that hassle instead i picked up the stuff that i've not read obviously i only checked out the starting portion with the first arc but here it gets into the second one which is the basis for the second season of the anime Really excited about that. Uh, they go into detail with one of my favorite yokai, the uh, Yukiona. I'm super excited about that. So I went ahead and picked up uh, the starting portion of what is the second season of the anime, which was supposed to come out this year, but it got uh, delayed for early 2023. So I'm gonna be reading this and uh, hopefully give you guys my impressions on the Inspector manga. I really like the art really cool if you like sort of a noirish take uh supernatural detective style with obviously the supernatural and yokai and monsters and all that I do give inspector a shot i think it's really cool i really like it and the art on the manga is pretty solid now this is something that i've been wanting to get for a long time i have here the first three volumes that i found at walmart of all places of uh, Bake Monogatari. Here's volume one over here, volume two, and volume three. Really excited about this series. Uh, the thing is, I do think, if you're not gonna read the novels, I do think the preferred uh, format is the anime. And yeah, most of it is streaming on sites like Crunchyroll. Uh, I don't think everything is. If you wanted to collect the anime, if you wanted to get all the Blu-rays, you're looking at a thousand dollar plus investment to own all that stuff. Some of it is super out of print, that's why I added the plus. And um, if you're not going to do light novels, I'm not a super light novel reader, I guess the manga is the route to go because I really like the anime and I wanted to own it in some shape or form and I picked the manga. Now it took me some time. I kind of held off on it because it's still ongoing. I know it entered its final arc as of this year, but I, you never know what's the final number going to be. Is it going to be 20 plus volumes? Is it going to be 30? Who knows? Uh, but I am excited. I saw these at Walmart, like I said, on a whim. I, I thought, you know what? Let's grab it. Why the hell not? Let's treat myself. <laughs> so I got these. And what's interesting is that these are... Uh, slightly larger uh, trim size than a standard manga, as you can see here. Uh, not by much, actually, just a little bit over here. 
thought that was pretty interesting. Obviously, it gives it a more widescreen or a wider uh, cinematic scope to the drawings themselves. But this uh, is a wacky story. If you love urban stories and um, uh, like creepypasta, yokai, supernatural stuff, urban legends, myths, and, and stuff like that, I think you'll be right at home with uh, Bakemonogatari. I really do recommend checking out the show. And if you can, uh, check out the manga as well. Another one from Kodansha is That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime Volume 19. It's insane that we already have 19 of these. Volume 20 comes out in like two months, I think. So that's really awesome. I don't know how long the series is supposed to go. I think the light novels are uh, close to ending. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I'm interested to see how long the manga will continue for. Another one from Kodansha, we got The Seven Deadly Sins Omnibus Volume 5, containing uh, volumes 13, 14, and 15. This is the first time that I'm reading Seven Deadly Sins. Pretty interesting, pretty cool so far. I dig it. Really nice Omni Edition. Will go great with my other ones right over here. Blade of the Immortal Deluxe Edition Volume 6. This is a 4-in-1 compared to the other ones, which are 3-in-1. That is, of course, so we can have 10 solid uh, hardcovers total. That's why this one is a little bit thicker than the others. Really cool stuff. Legendary artwork, of course. Just a wonderful series. If you like action and samurai and supernatural stuff and, and uh, really bloody action, you, got, you can't go wrong with uh, Blade of the Immortal. From Viz, we got one of my favorite series, Dr. Stone, Volume 22. Now, I know it has a bunch of haters out there. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> More power to you. But I really enjoy Dr. Stone. And I am I, I, I don't know the ending of it. I uh, purposely have not read that stuff because I'm reading it as I get the volume. So I'm eager to learn how the series ends. A little bittersweet because I kind of wanted it to continue just because it's been with me uh, for a couple years. In very important situations, the manga has been there for me. That's why I'm, I'm a little bit bittersweet about it, but still really cool uh, to get another volume of Dr. Stone. Here is Frieden Volume 5. I have a first impressions video if you want to check it out on the channel. My thoughts on the first volume and, and a half, I think it was, because uh, I recorded the video uh, while I still didn't have volume two with me, so I kind of took a sneak peek online, if you will. But uh, Frieden is great, I love it, and I'm really looking forward to uh, checking out more of the story to see where the characters go. And of course, our main girl, uh, she's quite awesome and one of my favorite uh, characters of recent memory. Here we have Record of Ragnarok, volume three. Super excited to own this, I love this series. It's so high octane and bonkers crazy. It reminds me of reading uh, the awesome extreme era of 90s comics in that the story isn't necessarily the most revolutionary thing, but it's so high octane. It's so uh, badass with a, a great fun concept. Uh, you know, the gods uh, versus a select group of outstanding humans fighting for the fate of the earth uh, you can't get more bombastic than that and i absolutely love it especially the art is really good i can't wait uh, to dive in to this volume and see what's happening on the record of ragnarok next up one of my all-time favorite shonen manga it is of course dragon quest the adventure of Dai. i absolutely love this manga i love the anime uh, the recent anime is fantastic, the 2020 reboot, and this is just a fantastic series, great artwork. Seriously, if you have not checked Adventure of Dai, Dragon Quest, you need to pick this up. I know the price tag, it's a little bit uh, higher than uh, your standard manga. This one is a $20 release, and you can get it online for around 15 bucks. Well worth it, in my opinion. Deluxe, oversized a little bit. Uh, just a great looking edition overall. I cannot recommend it enough. Beastars Volume 19. I am like two volumes behind reading this, so I need to catch up. I'm looking forward to seeing how the story concludes. I love this one. It's, it's, it's really fun. 
I like I like anthropomorphic animal stories. What you can do with them is really cool. Uh, how you can sort of you know examine uh, humans through the lens of the animal kingdom with their traits and all that, and of course just presenting a, a compelling story with noir elements and uh, mystery and romance and all that stuff. So I highly recommend Beastars if you've never checked it out. Do watch the show, and if you like what you see, just know that the manga is a million times better because um, Itagaki's artwork is just stellar all throughout. I cannot, uh, once again, recommend this enough. Go, go, um, go check out uh, Beastars. Please read it. Finally, on this mini haul, it was supposed to be larger, unfortunately, here is uh, Meizo Nikoku from Rumiko Takahashi. I can't show this because Takahashi's peeps get upset at certain YouTubers when they show stuff inside, so I can't do that. Just look at the pretty cover. Uh, Meizo Nikoku's great. I'm not up to date with these releases. I've actually never read it. This is the first time that I'm going through a famous series like that, so I'm looking forward to... Uh, making a video on this channel talking about uh, such a wonderful rom-com. And that overall is The Hall, a pretty small one. Again, I'm, I'm missing two big uh, boxes of Right Stuff manga, some deluxe editions, some Omni editions, and by Omni, I mean Omnibus, and of course the stupid summertime rendering hardcovers that are now pushed to fall uh, 2022, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you so much for checking out the channel. If this is your first time, I do content like this, going over hauls. But of course, I like to talk about anime and manga, especially uh, seasonal anime and all the manga that I have on my shelves. I try and uh, make uh, review videos on them. So if you want to check that out, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos pop up. And uh, that's about it. Thank you so much. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.